Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shalina Monet. So today's video is going to be about black owned products that I would like to try for 2021 and why. And this is also to commemorate Black History Month. February is that time of the month. And also we've got a couple more followers and I absolutely love it. So I appreciate all of you new subscribers for coming by and joining the Lena crew over here. And just to give you a quick synopsis of what this channel is about, it is about beauty, lifestyle, and fashion, okay? I do drop a video once a week here. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you do not miss an upload. And let's get started. Okay, so I have my little notebook here, so I don't forget anything. So one of the first black products that I'm gonna talk about is actually one that I'm wearing. Hmm. Hmm. What could I be wearing? That's black owned. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so this is the Minted Cosmetics Brow Pencil. And this is the Minted Brow or Later. And I purchased it in medium brown. So if any of you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I mix my Urban Decay pencil with it as well, just to darken it up just a little bit towards the tail part. But I have purchased Anastasia a couple of times, $25. I think it's more than that now, I'm not sure. And I was like, you know what? Instead of purchasing another one, I want to try something different. I'm one of those people uh, that's like, if it's not broke, why fix it? So I've slowed down on purchasing new cosmetics because I stuff that I love, I just keep using it. And if it gets, you know, old or I run out, I just go out and buy it again. So I purchased this. It's a spoolie on one end and a precision pencil on the other end. This product is also $15. Um, I can't find this product anywhere near me, so I just purchased it online. And um, it's basically their highbrow pencil. And in 2017, Amanda E. Johnson and KJ Miller, they uh, started with a search for nude lipsticks. Basically, you know, it's a black owned company and it is sometimes hard to find like the perfect nude for you where you don't need to even use like a lip liner. Like what I have on today, I'm gonna list it down below. But, you know, I use a lip liner to get this look. I mean, I like this look, but I love lipsticks where it's a natural nude and I don't need to use any type of liner with it and it just looks perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so they believe that all women should find themselves in beauty. And it just started with the new lipstick idea and it just branched out. So they currently have like eyeshadows, brow pencils, lipsticks, lip glosses. Um, they are constantly, you know, putting out more uh, cosmetic products. But so far, I really like this product. Compared to Anastasia, at first I was having a little bit of a hard time using this product because I couldn't get the tip to stay like on. It would like fade. And it says, well, the claims are 10 hour plus wear. But I don't know, just a little bit of practice and getting used to holding this new pencil in my hand. And it just, I think it came out good. And if anybody's watched any of my past videos, I do not use concealer under or over my brows to shape them. I like just penciling in like what I have and then extending the tail out. I don't, yeah, I don't like using concealer under my brows. So yeah, first product is Minted Cosmetics and I really like it. Definitely should give it a try. All right, so the next product I was really excited about. And when it came to like writing down information about these different products that I'm just gonna discuss with you guys, I wrote the most down about this product. This is called Rare Beauty. And it's a beauty line created by Alicia Scott, who basically created this line based on the lack of um, representation that she saw in the makeup community. And I like gave many, many snaps and a whole lot of girl get it when I went to her website because Usually when you go on websites or if you go to the store, the foundation is set to lightest to darkest. And for some people, they might be like, oh, you're thinking too hard into it. And I don't think I am. But 
What I love about hers is when you go onto her website and you're looking for your shade, she starts from darkest to lightest, fairest, you could say. And I absolutely love that. It's like you are coming first somewhere, you know, you're coming first. And I really, really love that. So if you don't know your shade, um, they do sell those products, I believe, in Target. If you want to buy it online, the samples are like $2 a piece and the full size product is $21. And I absolutely love her tagline. It's uh, that we are clean beauty for the forgotten shades. I love that. It's 100% cruelty free. It is vegan. It's no parabens, sulfates, no synthetic dyes or fragrances or phylates in her products. Also, what I really loved is that she tells you like how you can use the foundation and translate it into a BB cream, which I love. So for me, this is something that I would use in the summertime because I don't like heavy full coverage foundation in the summertime. It does list on there that it's sheer to medium coverage. I have watched a couple reviews on YouTube. I really like it. This is something I definitely will be trying this summer 2021. So stay tuned, hit that bell so you don't miss a notification when that review drops in. Okay, but yeah, I just was so excited about this um, product and um, how inclusive she is. It's just really, really great. The next product is Curly Clips. So also if you've been following me, I love to change my hair quite often actually and um it all started in high school hmm. but anyways yeah I love changing my hair clip-ins are probably one of my favorites because I feel like I can do so much with it whether it's curly clip-ins which I do have a review on curly clip-ins but not from this brand and oh but the clip-in extension review I do have is of a black owned brand so you can check that out if you like and I will list that up above. But yeah, so this Curly Clip-Ins, the product that I wanted to try from her is a Mermaid Blowout Clip-Ins, $199 for 22 inches. The only thing that I didn't get really, or um, like a lot of clip-ins, you can order like 16, 18, 20, you know, different, different sizes and stuff like that. She has set lengths, so it's not like you can interchange um, interchanges like I think it's 16 for this specific mermaid blowout it's either 16 or 22 so I would get the 22 inches just to get more bang for my buck she did list on there a lot of people use like two of those um to get a more fuller look and for me I love big hair so I definitely know I would have to get two but this line was created by Lena, uh, I'm sorry, Lena. She's from the DMV area where her family is from North Carolina. And on the website, she discusses how this manifested for her. Basically, she went from bra strap length hair to chin length hair all in a matter of one day because of a stylist destroying her hair during a styling session on her 4C tresses. So this is what came out of, you know, pain, you know. So on her website, you can buy like puffs, ponies, blowouts, spiral 3C curls, um, also fro clip-ins and the traditional headband wig now. So yeah, I would definitely love to try out her blowouts. They look very natural. It looked really pretty, very soft, you know. Something I could definitely relate to when just blowing my hair out. I know my hair is like back to blonde now, but um, I'll work it out, girl. I'll work it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next product that I would like to try is called Pear Nova. Pear Nova is a nail company. So I know I have nothing on my nails right now. No color, no claws, no nothing. But I would like to try them. I'm really into painting my own nails. I have like a huge bag of nail polish. And the three colors that I found that I liked the most on her webpage were Periwinkle, Berry Jane, and Cleo Effin Patra. Now, hence, these polishes are expensive. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But uh, definitely self-care during quarantine, nail polish. After I'm done filming, I'm going to be 
doing my nails. But uh, Rachel James in 2012 wanted to create a high-end luxury that is vegan and cruelty free. And um, that's what she came up with. Very beautiful color colors, uh, different ranges. And I was also surprised she had like a glass nail file, which is interesting. Um, I wouldn't purchase it, but it was really cool to look at. <laughs> but other than that, with the prices, I feel like I live like in the Cleveland, Ohio area, close to it or whatever. So it's um, the price of getting a full set of nails is like $30, $40, depending on where you go. And spending like $20, $50, $13, $50, $13.50 for these colors. I know it sounds expensive, but I I paint my nails more than I get my nails done. And this is something I can keep doing after I pay that one price. So I definitely feel like I would get this. And I love the periwinkle the most. I can wear that summer, winter, spring, it doesn't matter. It was It's a beautiful color. So yeah, I would definitely try out the Pear Nova. Uh, the next product is skincare because you all know I love my skin. Skincare is important. I mean, the foundation can look good, but the base has to be popping. So... One of the things that I came across is called Beauty Stat Cosmetics, and it was created by Ron Robinson, a scientific chemist, to help formulate beauty products for like Clinique, L'Oreal, and Avon, etc. There's even more. And basically, once he figured out how to stabilize vitamin C, he patented it and he created Beauty Stat Cosmetics. And um, the product that I'm interested in using is the Universal CI Perfector Cream. It is $65 and oof, that is steep. But I find for certain products, I do invest more money in. And these are the type of products that stay on the face. It's not like a cleanser. You wash your face and it's $100 and you're rinsing it off. No, this is something that stays on. And for my eyes, I'm very dry. I have very dry skin under my eyes. Uh, the last product I used was this old Hendrickson eye cream and I found that my skin started to peel. I had a bad reaction to it under my eyes. I had to stop using it. It was no bueno. No good for me. So yeah, I wouldn't mind trying this product. It has green tea extract in it, which increases collagen synthesis, hydrolonic acid, which binds moisture to skin and maintain the level. It also has hemp oil. Uh, it helps with inflammatory protection and 5% pure vitamin C, which helps with dark circles. I do have dark circles really bad. I mean, it's getting better, but uh, I need some help. <laughs> so yeah, I would really like to try that product. I'm always trying to look for a good eye cream or eye serum. If you guys are trying any good ones out that and you have dry under eyes like me, drop it down below, share the love in the comments because I'm going to struggle best with that. And the last product is Face Butter. And the product that I would like to try from them is the Radiant Radiate Face Jelly, and it's $21. So this was created by Chenille and Nicolette, who started their journey in their early 20s, um, basically to help with their oily combo, uh, acne-prone skin. So I could definitely relate. I have oily skin, extremely oily skin in the summertime, more combo in the wintertime. And I, yeah, I break out. Acne prone skin, my skin is just very, very sensitive to certain products. And um, I love that aloe vera is one of the first ingredients in the product. It also has like um, witch hazel water, glycerin, just to name a few of the products in it. Um, and yeah, I would like to try this product out just to see how it would work out for me and my skin. I use a product now for the winter time, but I find that I can't use that usually that same product in the summer. So it's interchangeable like with makeup. So I would definitely like to give it a try. And it's supposed to be nourishing and protect your skin also, they believe with proper education and thorough info, they want to make it simple beauty and then, you know, easy skincare for you. And I feel like it's very, it could be very lightweight, which is what I need. I'm having a hard time finding a product that 
really moisturizes me and doesn't suck me dry. Also help with some of the shininess because I just get really oily. And I just compare it to a piece of fried chicken because yeah, I can't, just can't deal with it. But yeah, if you stayed this long during the video, I really appreciate it. I hope I dropped some knowledge on you guys with some new products to try for 2021 and beyond. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. Keep Let's keep growing Lena Crew over here. I'm really excited for what we're doing over here. And I really appreciate all of your support because I couldn't do it without you guys. And I'm glad that you like the content and like the videos. It really does show that the hard work that I'm trying to put into the videos is appreciated and so that makes me appreciate you guys even more so yeah again hit the subscribe button throw anything down in the comments if you would like and if you appreciated the video give it a thumbs up asante sana peace youtube